The ET vehicle is an entirely new type of timber vehicle. It can carry 50% more than a traditional timber truck. It has for two years now been transporting timber on a trial basis to SCA's Mungsund sawmill in the far northern Swedish coastal region of Norrbotten. The trials have shown that transporting timber with the ET vehicle has not led to any increased wear and tear on the roads, while carbon dioxide emissions and costs have been cut by 20%. It's like driving a normal logging truck. It's actually more stable than a conventional truck. It is very easy to maneuver even in tight situations. In roundabouts like here, the trailers follow the truck very well. There are no shortcuts in the corners and it works fine in traffic. Vast distances often separate Sweden's forest and industrial regions. In those areas lacking a rail network, the ET vehicle is seen as an alternative that could make deliveries directly to factories or railway terminals. The vehicle handles well on forest roads of a normal standard and negotiates turning areas without any problems. A separate loader loads the vehicle which can carry up to 65 tons of timber and is 30 meters long. Thanks to their greater capacity, two ET vehicles can do the job of three ordinary timber trucks. If ET vehicles were used for all timber transports, it would enable the number of vehicles required to be reduced by a third. That spells fewer heavy vehicles on our roads, lower carbon emissions and increased competitiveness. Fewer vehicles on the roads would also improve traffic safety and accessibility for other road users. The question is, how is an ET vehicle perceived on the roads? It's nothing special really. The overtakes is as usual. What I have noticed is that they don't do the crazy overtakes. Maybe because of the sign long vehicle that's in the rear of the truck. They don't take chances when overtaking. Both Skog Forsk and VTI study traffic safety. They interview drivers and study footage of drivers overtaking and their general behavior. The results have so far shown that the vehicle can operate on public roads without any adverse effects on road safety. The ET vehicle is a joint project between Skogforsk, the Swedish Traffic Administrations, the Swedish Forest Industries Federation, Volvo Trucks, SSAB, Pareta, and other Swedish automotive firms and organizations. Great care was taken during development work to produce a vehicle whose level of accessibility and braking distance are on a par with ordinary timber trucks. Another objective was to ensure that the vehicle does not increase wear and tear of the roads. This has been achieved thanks to the triple axles and air suspension system which reduce pressure on the road. The dolly, link and trailer were made by Pareta. The trailer was engineered in SSAB Domex 700 graded steel, which is both lighter and stronger than the steel normally used. The ET vehicle is designed according to a European modular system, a standard that enables different parts such as the truck, dolly, link and trailer to be interchanged. The vehicles can thus be converted, shortened or used to carry other loads. The ET project is now being run and the vehicle put through its paces in several other parts of Sweden. The objective is that we will, within a few years, see the regular timber trucks being gradually replaced by the ET vehicles. This in areas where they're more efficient and thereby more environmentally appropriate.